It appeared it was going to be time to move on. As Jade and Kane tried to get some rest and relaxation, a band of uh, slavers happened in here. Jade knew that it was going to be a dangerous journey through the Deadlands, and even if we made it through the Deadlands and into Shem, there was going to be a lot of concerns to be had. And so she decided it would be a good choice to hire some bodyguards. I'm going to go ahead and hire them for two days. And uh, we're going to go and try to make our way through the Deadlands. I think that is our best option, after all. Even though it's going to be very dangerous. Actually, we can try to go south. Cloud Ninja? What is a Cloud Ninja? This must be from a mod. Or maybe it's the base game. Black Desert Ninjas. Oh, you know what? Uh, are we in the Black Desert? We're in the Gray Desert. Is that the same thing? I don't... Alright, well, first of all, let's not go right into them. I'm pretty sure they're going to end up being hostile. So, one of the biomes basically has these poisonous gas clouds. I guess we must be near that. Um, I don't see any poison gas clouds. But they will kill you very fast. Oh, look, it's the death beams. Jade notices the beams of death raining down from the sky. And uh, it's very, very concerned. Kane, uh, <laughs> Kane tries to interject. You know, perhaps they should, uh, perhaps they should try to go along the borders here. Oh. Ah, Venge, this is where the gutters come to hunt for spiders. Oh, not a safe place to be. The gutters are, uh, what's a gutter? Asks Kane, the beak things. Beak things are terrible creatures. Oh, right, beak things. They are terrible, fearsome creatures. They are very, very fast, and very powerful, and also tough to kill. Especially for how early game we are. Damn. The fucking death beams are all the way over here, too. Okay. I thought we were more on the border of it, and that we would be able to get around it, but I don't know that's the case. I don't think it is. Maybe if we go up and around this way. Alright, let's hope. Let's hope we don't get blasted. It's a fucking gray desert. Ugh. Jade and Kane are so weary from this long arduous journey not even really sure of where they can seek refuge anymore they tried to escape the holy nation and went to the United Cities only to be labeled terrorists effectively 
Oh, acid rain. Oh, and lightning. Good. Well, let's go to the Black Desert City. Or let's try to, anyway. Narcos Teats. This is the feckin' Deadlands. We can't come here. It's not a place for humans. I like it. <laughs> Rain feels nice. Alright, so here's the problem. In the Deadlands, you have a lot of these inactive iron spiders. Some of them, however, are active. That's the problem. <laughs> it's just kind of hoping that you don't run into one of the active... That's an active one. No, no. <sighs> oh, they're going to fight it? Okay, well, if you guys want to fight it, I mean, you go fight it. More power to you. I'm going to stay the fuck away from it. I'm going to get the fuck away from it. Actually. Hmm. I was going to say, maybe we could take that iron spider and recruit it. But, I don't know if that would be too OP. Would it? If we used an iron spider? I don't know, would that be? I mean, iron spiders can be pretty powerful. And it might be nice to have that, uh, that sort of edge... I think we might have Jade wait in the bar, since although she has acid protection, she's still getting hurt. Um, how did those mercenaries do? Oh, oh no, oh no, I think my mercenaries are dying. Oh. I guess a I guess a second iron spider came by and just kind of kicked their ass. Uh, so much for my mercenaries. Okay, let's have Kane since he's immune to this sort of go around. Now, since this is in the Deadlands and pretty much only skeletons travel here, sorry we don't sell human food. I hope you brought your own. Need anything else? Tell me about this place. There's not a lot to say. We settled here after life grew chaotic on the outside. But those times were so long ago. No one here has a clear memory of our days before the city. What we do know is that we're safer here. Across acidic ground and hidden away from any war zones. The only downside of our isolation is lack of occupation. Inactivity can be terribly unhealthy to, uh, to some. Both for the mind and the body. Show me what you got. And you don't got much of nothing. Okay. That's fine. We don't really need much of nothing anyway. Because here in the Deadlands, it's not really Black Desert City that's important. It's the Scramp House. Oh, you know what? God damn it, Kane. Kane feels guilty. He doesn't want to leave these innocent men down there to die. He wants to go try to save them. Jade, understandably, wants to kick back in the bar and relax a bit. I mean, Jade is human. This is acid rain. You know, it's probably really uncomfortable, to say the least. But to Cain, in his rubbery skin, this, oh, jeez, there's a... There's an iron spider just hanging out by their bodies. Oh no, it's beating the shit out of them when they wake up. Oh, they're fucked. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I'd be able to do anything about this. I could maybe try to lure the spider away. But, I don't know. What if, what if it's faster than Kane? I don't want Kane to get killed. Kane looks on in horror and realizes that for a true hero, for a true hero, it's not to 
It's not to be unafraid. It's to be afraid but face that fear. And although he knew there was little he could do, he had to try. Come on, you son of a bitch. Get healed. Splint his injuries too, Kane. All right, okay, Kane. It's time to boogie the fuck out of here. Kane tried. He was able to heal at least one of them. Hopefully he would wake up soon. Now it was a matter of luring this iron spider of death away from those poor innocent men. If Kane could just get it far enough, yes. Maybe this would be far enough. He could loop around and try to help the rest of them. Let's hope none of these are active. Oh no, there's another one. have to get over there soon or these poor guys are going to die alright who's the worst this guy's critical alright Kane go try to heal him up first Kane tried his best to stay low the acid rain a comforting embrace on his skin. <sighs> it was calming, wrapping the wounds of these men, trying to save lives. It was relieving to Cain, treating these men with kindness that others deprived him of. Oh, one of them is dead. Oh, jeez. I think they're going to die out here anyway. I think the acid range is going to eat away at them until they die. Oh. What could you do, Kane? What could you possibly do to help these people? Not a whole lot. I mean... Uh, he's fucking... This guy needs to get healed. Heal him. There's no telling how many more of these iron spiders are out here, Kane. You're doing the best you can, but at some point you're gonna have to let this go. That's what he knew Jade would tell him. To just let it go. To just leave these men here. But he couldn't. He had to try something. Damn it, he had to try anything. The scrap house was just up the hill. If he could manage to carry them out of the acid rain, they might stand a chance of survival. He needed to at least try. It was going to be difficult. All these men with their armor... It's going to make this a harder task than it needed to be. Is this out of the rain? There should be a ceiling. Um, well, it's going to have to be out of the rain enough. Oh, no. I don't know where he went. He flew away. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Let's go save the rest of them. Or let, let's try to, anyway. Kane, you're a good man, Kane. Trying to save lives. Trying to do the right thing. Braver man than uh, than most of these savages out here. 
Especially in the cannibal plains that we came from. Oh man. Kane, you just you just keep chugging along. It'll be good soon. I don't know where that other guy went. I just I put him down and he flew away. Alright, is this guy? Alright, so he's recovering now. Yeah, so that should be out of the acid rain enough that they can recover. I think there's only three more, or two more, or maybe less by now. Who's, al who's alive? Any of you alive? All right, you're alive. Come on, lucky day. Let's let's try to save you. Let's try to make sure you don't end up dead. It's a good boy. You're gonna be alive. You're gonna live. It's gonna be great. Maybe. I mean, it's always possible you'd still fucking die. I don't know. It's it's a possibility in a large spectrum of possibilities. Okay. The multiple realities are as such. So many, so varied, so vast. An ocean. This guy's dead. That guy's recovery coma, recovery coma. Pick up. Pick him up. Come on. Gotta save these lives, Kane. I guess it's alright if we loot the dead guy, right? Like, fuck. He ain't gonna be using his shit. <laughs> I guess I guess that can be like all right if we don't loot these guys cuz they didn't die technically so we're we're just looting their dead friend I mean to be fair we did hire these guys as bodyguards okay we hired these guys to protect us and they immediately ate shit like I get that it's an iron spider or two, and fuck, I know, like, Kane and Jade won't be taking that shit on anytime soon, fucking mano y mano, but, um, come on, like, five or six fucking mercenaries and armor and shit, you guys are supposed to be tough shit, you're supposed to be the hardest of core, man, fucking kicking ass and taking names. What happened to you? Fucking washed up has-beens. Go back to the border zone. That's what Jade would probably say to them. She fucking fumes at the bar to herself over a drink. Wondering what's taking Kane so long checking at the scrap house for supplies. She would come check on him, but... Honestly, she's had a long day. Kane, likewise, has had a very long and difficult day. He supposed it was alright to take and sell the remains of this person. You know, their, uh, their supplies that they would no longer be needing. It's a sort of requisition, isn't it? It's like uh, a reclamation. There we go. Although, I guess that's... Well, maybe to a narcissist, I suppose. Like if you were like a full-blown narcissist, everything would kind of belong to you, right? I don't think that's Kane. I don't think Kane's much of a narcissist. No, he's got too much empathy. Jade, I don't know yet, you know? Who knows? Kane doesn't think about these things. Anyway, if you were to go to the scrap house, you might think, wow, there ain't jack shit here. What the fuck? Except that if you go over here, underneath this, and you go up to the second floor, or it says first floor, you can, uh, you can go up here, and there's a, a nifty shop full of really fucking good shit. A human customer. How many years has it been? 
and just look at the state of this place. I'm not a human. I'm not a humane. How many times have I told you to clear out this junk? Deck, you're a hoarder. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm... This again? I already told you I'd handle it. You really are an incessant nag. Oh. Okay, are you guys having, like, a domestic dispute? A nag? How dare you use the N-word on me? It's become a rat's nest, you know. I saw a rat the size of my head in there last week. Uh... Uh... <laughs> but fine, I shall nag no more. I'll burn what doesn't sell. Rats be damned. Are you, Are you guys gonna eat the rats? Gasp, you would never do such a thing. The fuck is that? Are you talking to this guy? Better to be a pyromaniac than be a nag, wouldn't you say? How long is this gonna go on? You guys gonna... What is this? Alright, I guess they're done. Welcome, dear Hugh... Oh! Uh, welcome, dear. Please excuse the mess. Anything shiny? Dak hordes. A skeleton, really. Oh, a simpleton, really. I'm sure his mind was fried when he got hit on the head back in the ch uh, back some time ago. Old magazines, fragments of old wreckages, funny shaped rocks. We don't have anything of much use here, but then, of course, one man's junk is another man's treasure, so how may I help you? Show me what you got. He says that, but actually, they have amazing stuff. It's all ridiculous ridiculously expensive for us right now because, well, we're fucking poor. But eventually we'll have the money to get some really good fucking weapons off this guy here. I'm actually checking to see if he's got any baseball bats. I was thinking I might get Kane one. Uh, we had stolen this here. You know what? Let's sell this equipment and stuff that we don't need. And then... We will see about the baseball bats. Uh, we could buy him this metal bat. It's going to take all our money. Eh. Eh. Damn it. Or we can get him a nail bat. What does Jade have right now? Does she have a regular bat? Yeah, she has a metal bat. It's actually a very cheap metal bat. Do we have... Or does he have cheap metal bats? Um, so this is a good place to get ancient research books, or ancient science books, uh, as well as AI cores, if you just want to buy them instead of having to go and try to find them in one of, or a few of, oh, as well as engineering research, you know, it's not an, it's not like enough to get all the research that you would need done, but it's a good start. Like I said, if you don't want to go through the trouble of Damn, these are some really good baseball bats that we cannot afford. I wonder if I can steal these. I feel like I would not be able to. I feel like that might be a bad idea. But we could really use these weapons. We could really use these powerful weapons. But we will resist the urge. Damn it, we will, we will resist the urge to steal. Because it would not end well, would it? Would it? We would get caught so bad. Our thievery skill is sh fucking one. Yeah, we could pick the lock. Yeah, we could probably knock out everybody in there. But god damn it. We would not be able to fucking do... How are these guys doing, by the way? I, are they awake are they conscious yet? Kane came to check up on them, and unfortunately, they were still all passed the fuck out. <sighs> he sighs to himself. Jade's not going to want to hear what happened. But he decided to go back and let her know.
Maybe one day Jade would see things the way Cain does. But I, he supposes that the, uh, the opposite may be true. It's an interesting duality, these two. As they try to survive together. Where are your feet? I'm a fucking hiver. We didn't have footless humans back in my day. I'm a fucking hiver. You got a problem with that? Kane is starting to get a bit of an attitude in regard to the racism. Ever since he faced all that discrimination back in the holy, back in the United Cities, actually the holy nation too. Yeah, they were pretty fucking discriminatory against him. You know what? You know what? Kane. Kane's had it pretty fucking rough so far. And he's getting he's getting a little tired of that shit, you know? Maybe it's it's about time he starts beating some ass. Fucking taking some names. Thinks to himself as he sits down and grabs a a glass. Jade comes over with a pitcher, sitting beside him. 